Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. We're, today's lesson we're going to learn how to create different striped images and how to do directional uh, lines going up and down and then also diagonal lines. So let's get started. We're going to start with our regular straight lines. It's a really simple process. Simply create your background image that you want your stripes on. Decide how thick you want your stripes by selecting out with the rectangle tool and then fill that with black on a second layer as you can see I'm doing here. Once you've done this, you can then duplicate this layer and simply drag it over for however far away you want your next stripe to be. You can then combine those layers and repeat the process like so. And you can do this for however many stripes you need. Now, in this example, I'm not going to be going all the way across the image. I'm actually going to stop right where I'm at. But you can continue to go all the way across the image. Now. Let's go ahead and create our background image. We're going to start by going ahead and selecting a greenish color here. And we'll start with something like, we'll probably start with something like this. We're going to fill that in the background. Once we've done this, we can then go online and um, create a new, or grab some free um, grunge images here. And I'm just going to do this real time so you guys can see it's, it is possible and just simply go to the images and you'll see here some different grunge images come up and you can grab any of them that you like um, I actually kinda like this first one here with the skulls so I'm gonna take that and I'll copy the image and I don't have any rights to these image at all, images at all but I figured that I could show you guys basically the same process I would go ahead and do so go to overlay uh, that's not the one I want um, one of these, I don't remember which one it is. Why is it not doing it? There we go, it's multiply. I knew it was one of them. And you see here I didn't have that on the image. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And then combine the two. Multiply, because it makes it a little darker. And then I'll duplicate that layer again. Go to the one underneath it, go to blur and mm, radial blur this. And I'll spin it by 10. And that actually looks really cool, so I'll leave that alone. And I'll go back, grab some more. Uh, this time I'm going to type in grunge pattern because I want some bigger images that really have some grunge in them that I can grab. Stuff like this here. This this is a really cool example. I'll copy that image. Go back to Photoshop. Paste this in. Go ahead and make this just blowing it up like so and if you choose overlay you can then set the opacity down but you can also try your different your different layers because each one will look a little bit different and you never know which one you might get that you like and I'm kinda digging hard light and then we can just drop that opacity down some more like so and now I'm just going to grab this this one here, copy that image, go back to Photoshop, paste it in. And then I'm going to do something kind of cool here. I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool, put my hardness at zero, up that to about 100 pixels. And then I'll just soft delete the edge here on it. And then I'll also make that way bigger. And just kind of blend it in like so. And then set that to multiply. And this layer here still needs to go down a little bit. I'm going to set that to multiply as well. Just something to kind of break it up. Now for our stripes. We're going to go ahead and set those to overlay. And then you can see here we have our stripes. And we can do all kinds of cool stuff with them. If we hold down uh, um, Alt, or I'm sorry, uh, Control on the Mac, we can then skew this image, and you can see here we can hold down Shift and skew it over to do stripes, like so. And you can see here, I can do that, and then I can duplicate that layer. Oops. And do kind of a 
cool little pattern thing here. Like that if I want, or I can just go the full stripe, but I kind of like that. So just that little one right there. Overlay that. And it's starting to look pretty good. Now we can do some cool text on our image. And I'll just make it be white text. Pixel for life dot com. We'll go ahead and we'll make that way bigger. Kind of like so. And it's still actually a little bit too big. <laughs> Got a little carried away there. There we go. Something like that. And then we'll put a little sub message. Pixel for life dot com. Photoshop stripes. And just like that, we can then drop a shadow on that. Even do a stroke. Stroke of genius. Hit OK, and we're good to go. So hope you guys have enjoyed this lesson, and we'll see you soon.